The cave is quiet and vast. He steps cautiously, hearing only the crunch of pebbles beneath his feet. His eyes widen in awe as light from the entrance fades and walls stretch high above. A sharp clap echoes back to him, the first sound bouncing off the stone. Confused but fascinated, he listens closely. The sound returns, like a ghostly reply. The stomp produces a deep, rumbling echo. He steps back, startled. A high-pitched clink rings out, and repeats back to him through the cave. His own laughter bounces back, louder than before. He laughs again. He repeats the sounds the cave gives back to him, now realizing it's a pattern. Tap. Tap tap. The echoes return like a beat, a natural drum. He sways gently, matching his steps with the echoing taps. The grunt echoes back in multiple directions, layered and hollow. Every step echoes differently. The deeper he goes, the louder the feedback. He shouts into it and listens, the echo takes longer to return. The wind hums through his arms, even movement makes a sound here. He places his hand against stone and feels the pulse of his own tapping. This time the echo seems louder, as if calling back from every corner. He experiments like a child, a natural scientist testing reactions. The cave responds to him like an old friend repeating every word. Boom, boom boom, boom. It echoes like a heartbeat. Clap, stomp, clap. A beat emerges, felt in his chest. Others outside begin to hear it, curious, they move toward the cave. They clap together, the cave echoes multiply. They exchange glances, a silent form of shared wonder. It echoes beautifully, and they laugh in delight. Lion, monkey, owl, the cave turns each into a mysterious chorus. A perfect tapping drum, the first beat in history. Now a small group gathers, listening, experimenting. The sound returns like a spiraling cry, surprising and funny. The echoes form a pulse, a primitive harmony. Ha! Who? Eh! The cave sings with them. Laughter echoes louder than the sounds themselves. The clatter echoes with chaotic rhythm, the first sound effect. Scratches echo like whispers, eerie but fascinating. Boom boom boom. The whole cave vibrates. Echoes become more than Each sound. tone, tap, they become grunt signals. now means something. Boom, boom, boom. Others repeat it back, like a code. 
Two booms equals safe. Four booms equals danger. He makes a sound, others echo back. He knows which rocks sound best now, and labels them. One beat for hunting, another for gathering, a third for fire. Laughter and rhythm become part of play. The first music-like note bounces through the cave. Voices blend with echo, haunting and beautiful. Light and echo together create storytelling magic. With dripping and stone tapping, nature sounds recreated. It signals excitement, everyone claps along. A ritual begins, Echo Night. Like they're connecting to something ancient. The cub mimics, and smiles when the cave replies. Every echo is a message, a memory, a signal. Boom rock, whisper hole, laughing wall. One pattern equals food. Another equals danger. They return often, to teach, to share. A soft pattern, hummed by all when someone leaves. Sound, movement, unity. Hide and seek with echo calls. Every Australopithecus develops their own sound call. He feels time, space, and memory in the cave's voice. The echoes carry emotion joy, fear, love. The sound stays behind, like a whisper of history. The idea has spread, echo is now language. In its silence, he hears the memory of discovery. And thus, rhythm gave birth to meaning in the ancient jungle.